With Flora safe, Leighton and Luke race to stop Clive's fortress from leveling London. Can the professor find a way to stop the machine before it eliminates the Great Metropolis? Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. So nice of you to join me, Professor. Whatever it is you have planned, you can't go through with it. We know what Bill and Dimitri did. When the world learns of it, they'll be punished. You said you wanted justice, and isn't that justice enough? That's a nice sentiment. But without large-scale havoc, those fools in government will never change their ways. Listen to yourself, Clive. You... Who are you to argue with me? As a reporter, I've witnessed countless tragedies firsthand. And it's clear that my life isn't the only one that's been destroyed in the name of progress. To those in power, the rest of us little people are all just bumps on the road to a brighter tomorrow. The only thing a bully understands is force. So you see, I have no choice but to level this place and rebuild it from the ground up. What you're saying is unthinkable. This conversation is over. No, Clive! Tell me, Professor, how do you intend to get out of this one? Puzzle number 124, the final tile. The floor below is made up of 24 tiles. It's specially designed so that the tiles will fall any one way at a time until they're all gone. Once the first tile falls, neighboring tiles, not diagonal, will fall away one by one in the following order of suits. Hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. The first tile set to fall, however, is not necessarily a heart. If you can find the last tile to set to fall, you can stop the floor from disappearing. Tap the last tile and then touch submit. Hint number one. First try picking a random tile at the start and see how far you can go. You have to find a path that will allow all the tiles to fall away. Hint number two. Pick any tile as a starting point and follow your order of suits to see where you end up. If your progress is stopped before you clear all the tiles, you'll need to either start over at a different tile or try going in another direction. Hint number three. The first tile set to fall is a diamond. The last tile set to fall is a spade. Super hint. One of the two spade tiles in the second column over from the left is the last panel to set to fall. You could tell this is an intense puzzle because we got different puzzle music again! Okay, but in all seriousness, the tile we must select is the spade right here. I've got a good feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. Jackpot. Very impressive work. You never fail to impress. Sadly, I must leave you now, as the main event is about to start. What do you mean?
make yourselves comfortable. Sit back and relax. After all, you won't be leaving anytime soon. Take a good look at London, because this will be your last chance. <sighs> Celeste? Come with me. I know how we can stop Clive. There has to be a generator somewhere here. All we need to do is find it and shut it down. Right. We'll cut off the power at the source. But wait. This place is huge. We don't have time to scour at all. What are we going to do? Look around you. The monitors in this control room are linked to cameras throughout the fortress. Perhaps they can offer us some clue as to the generator's location. It's worth a shot. Look at all these monitors! We should be able to set all the parts of the fortresses from here. And one of these monitors is bound to be connected to the generator room. Now we only need to figure out which one it is. Puzzle number 125, connect the bots. This is a map of the floor housing the generator room. The locations of two camera equipped security bots are identified by the red and green arrows. To prevent its detection by Professor Layton, Clive has ensured that the patrol routes followed by the security bots do not pass by the generator room. The bots will always turn at the rounded yellow corners. Which room do the bots avoid? That's the generator room. Hint number one. There are some intersections with rounded corners that face each other, but the bots will always turn at the corner closest to them. Hint number two. There are only two security bots, but together they're able to monitor nearly all of the rooms. Their paths may cross, but they but if they ever overlap, you're doing something wrong. Hint number three. Each bot's route completes the loop. Once you've identified both of their routes, you are you just need to find the room that neither bot passes. Super hint. If you break up the map into four quadrants, the generator room is the lower is in the lower right one. The solution is that we need to go here. Here's my answer. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. You bought it. <laughs> Not even Clive could trick Professor Layton and company. Ah, there it is. That's it, Luke. Now all we have to do is feed these coordinates into the transport pod. Let's go. We're right behind you, Professor. Celeste, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, what is it? How in the world did you manage to get to the fortress? The Professor and I had to do some pretty fancy maneuvering to get here. What's more, this fortress is moving now. How did you catch up with us? <laughs> Didn't you know, Luke? I'm a witch. I just hopped on my broom and flew up the deck. Now you're just messing with me. Come on, I'm curious. Alright, if you're that interested, I suppose I can let you in on the secret. Just head out that door to the deck outside. This door right here? Hello! Oh my gosh, that's Don Palo's flying machine! That's right, I begged him to fly me up here, so he loaded me in and sent me up. He controlled the whole thing from the ground. I didn't even have to do anything. Amazing, right? You can say that again. Funny, you don't seem quite as astonished, Professor. Yes, well, I already knew Paul had his machine with him. It's what he used to escape the research facility we infiltrated, is it not? Nothing gets by you, does it, Professor? So now that we have Don Palo's flying machine, we can come up and go from here as we please. That's right, Luke. Are you thinking about abandoning our mission? Never. I just thought it might be a good idea to drop Flora off somewhere safe before heading out. No way. I'm staying here. I can't say I blame you, Flora. You've got to stick close to the people you care about. Yes, but it is good to know that we can return underground to take care of any unfinished business. Should we wish to any. Alright, everyone. We really shouldn't dawdle out here. We need to head out to the generator room. Oh yes, I nearly forgotten. Let's go, everyone. If there is anything you've forgotten, anything you want to obtain, any missing puzzles, any missing minigame pieces, anything you want to do before finishing the game, this is your last chance. 
as for me, I have no regrets with moving forward. Um, Professor, now that we have the coordinates for the generator room, where do we put them? Hmm. I imagine one of the court one of the contraptions in here can take the coordinates. Oh, what about that one stuck to the wall over there? It's got numbers and things all over it. Oh, the one with the flashing green monitor? Yes, let's have a look at that. Punch in the coordinates, Luke. Once you do that, we should be able to get to the generator room. Look, Professor, the button for the generator room lit up. Our final destination awaits us. Let's go. We've arrived at the generator. So this is the tower's generator. It looks suitably sinister. I don't like the rumbling coming from that machine. There's something different about the air in this room. Oh, it's really hot! So this is the heart of the fortress. There's the generator's control panel, but it's locked away. The lock is a puzzle. Would you like to give it a shot, Professor? I'll do my best. Puzzle number 126, 10-step solution. This might be our final sliding puzzle in the main game. Let's get started. Instead of trying to get it done in a record amount of time, we actually only have a limited number of moves. So, pay attention. We need to move this one here, then this one all the way down. After that, you'll move this over here. This one gets brought up. Then the B will get brought up. A will get brought down. This gets brought down. This is brought down. Except that's not right. I'm gonna move this to the left, bring the A down here, drag this to the right, bring this up, make sure you don't let go of it accidentally, bring the B up here, the A down here, the B to the right, then after that, we want this brought down, this to the left, and finish it off by bringing the B to the top. I've got a good feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. Bravo, you cracked the lock. Until we meet again, sliding puzzles. I think I've done it. Stand back, everyone. My word. Prime Minister? <laughs> I knew you'd find your way here sooner or later. Though, well, if you're hoping to find our fearless leader, I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. I know how you like to play the hero, but I'd advise you not to get any foolish ideas. You see, the Prime Minister is perched on a very special seat. And should you try to move him from that pod, this whole fortress will detonate. Also, you should know that there's enough charge in here to level most of London. Of course, London's getting leveled either way. <laughs> no, I do hate to run, but I have work to do. This device, it looks like the, de the detonator is wired to the monitor the Prime Minister's heartbeat. It sounds like this heartbeat disappears, the detonation switch will go off. Perhaps we could sever the connection somehow. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, Professor. See how there are two sets of wires in the circuit here? I don't think we'll be able to cut both sets before the device reaches. Amazing, Celeste. You obviously possess a better understanding of these machines than I. Your sister would be very proud. Oh, I just had an idea. What if we use this? This 
is the pocket watch I gave Claire ages ago. And here I thought it had been lost in the explosion. No, I actually found it when cleaning up some of Claire's things after the accident. Unfortunately, the watch has been broken since I found it. No matter how much I wind, it never seems to run for more than ten minutes. I see where you're going with this, Celeste. You're suggesting we replace the sound of the Prime Minister's heart with that of the pocket watch. Exactly. It's risky, but it might be the one option we've got. We'll need to disconnect the circuit from the Prime Minister and attach the watch in one fell swoop. But even if we succeed, the watch will stop running in ten minutes and the fortress will explode anyway. We could end up putting the people of London in real danger. Luke, if we take no action, London will face a greater danger than any explosion. This is our only shot at stopping Clive. The chances of success are slim, but we must try. Puzzle number 127, a real heart stopper. There are two long wires connecting a monitoring device to the Prime Minister's heart sensor. Can you swap the wires connected to the pocket watch with the wires connected to the monitoring device in a single move? Swap only two blocks to connect the wires from the monitoring device at the top of the screen below to the pocket watch at the bottom right. Give it your best shot. Hint number one, you need to move a pair of blocks in one single swap. First, take a look at how all of the wires are connected. Find the wires connecting the monitoring device, upper right, to the Prime Minister's heart sensor, lower left. Hint number two. Take, the note, take note that two wires leading from the pocket watch into the lower right corner connect in the middle. Pay close attention to this path. Hint number three. Have you noticed that only certain blocks can be swapped with each other and still connect? Keep an eye out for blocks that have matching wire entry and exit points. And the super hint. The two blocks are both in the third row. Look carefully. The solution is that we need to swap this block with this block. I've got a good feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. Professor, that's it! The watch is connected now! Yes, but our work here is far from over. This is your last chance to save your progress. Thank <laughs> you.